Hi, I'm Steven. Welcome back to my channel. Someone sent me a message. He mentioned my photo album Israel and Palestine on Free Club page. That was I shoot in 2017. Used the film stock is Kodak Double X motion picture black and white film. So let me think. Why not do a video uh, talk about Kodak Double X again? Because I was studied to shoot Double X from maybe. 2013. Also, I want to share with you what kind of developer I used for WX. Yes, I had used different kind of developers for WX. They all look different, so will be interesting talking, I think. When I editing this video, I found oh my god, I had shoot so much WX film. So there will be many samples in this video. I made a chapter list in discussion below. You can skip to your interesting part. I hope you can enjoy it. Okay, let's get started. In 2017, I brought my Leica M6 camera with a 35mm f1.4 pre-A lens. Just one camera, one lens traveled to Israel for two weeks. Had to shoot 20 rows of double X film. So the pictures you see now all shoot at ISO 400 and developed with HC 110 Dilution B. my first time went to Middle East. I was a little nervous at first. Except a military or policemen, many people carrying guns on the street. Even young girls they carrying pistol. A soldier sitting behind me on a bus carrying a M4 assault rifle. It was my first experience. But after spent a few days in Jerusalem, I was relaxed. Actually, it's a safe country for traveler. People are kind. Jews and Arabs, they all very friendly. A Jewish man, I just met him on the street. After chat for minutes, he said, "Let's go. Follow me. I show you some interesting place." So I was just following him. Went to the most mysterious Jewish neighborhoods, the Mir Sharim. a street photographer exciting. And in the next few days, I went to there again and again. The Jerusalem is a beautiful city, especially in old city. But for me, I would say the ultra orthodox neighborhoods, the Mir Sharim and the around there is my favorite place.
was did two things wrong. First, I was shouldn't take picture of them in Shabbat, the Saturday. Obviously, it unpleased them. The second wrong was I wearing a green jacket. Uh, you know the reason, right? Actually, many Jewish families living in a very traditional life, even their clothes are almost the same as they were in 70 years ago. After talking to some young Jews, I had no actually they are Americans from New York. Maybe for the family reason, they return to Jerusalem every year. And some women with American accent were more repelled than someone holding a camera into their neighborhoods. Yes, next time I will bring my Olympus 35 SP, the most cheapest rangefinder camera when I want to go there. So I don't need to worry about someone will bringing my camera. I'm joking, I'm joking. Actually, no such dangerous over there. I also went to some north city, the Nazareth, but I felt not as interesting as Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the best. So I changed my plan back to Jerusalem, stay more few days. Also, I went to Bethlehem and Hebron in West Bank. The Bethlehem was okay, is known as the birthplace of Jesus Christ, but in Hebron I felt some tensions feels in the air. In this 20 rows black and white film, actually one row is Kodak Tri-X. I didn't find it until I developed them. You know, the film base of Tri-X are too thin, always bending or curling. When you clean up it after drying, you can find, ah, actually this one is Tri-X. Yes, the double X will never happen things like this. Since I shoot this Tri-X in same place, use the same camera and lens, and also with same development, so we can compare the images here. Look, this highlight shoot in sunshine. Obviously, double X has more better highlight protection. RMS granularity of double X film is 14. Should be less grainy than Tri-X, which RMS is 17. But instead, black color of tracks looks more clean. Look this black coat on images without noise, also without details. But on double X, this black coat looks not too much darker, with much, much more details, of course, also much noisy. Obviously, as a consumer film stock, Tri-X already has a pleasant tone cover without adjustment, but Double X doesn't. I think if you want to get clean shadows on Double X film, you should overexposure when you're shooting and pull the shadows down in color grading or printing. So it looks familiar, right? Yes, we usually say exposure to the right for Sony digital cameras. Take a look at this picture. I didn't shoot under exposure. The white shirt almost blown out, but you can see too noisy in shadows. Now take a look. This frame shoot on Tri-X definitely had under exposure, still looks pretty clean. So the Tri-X with more forgiveness, but double X doesn't. Should never under exposure when shooting double X. Actually, for any negative, or shouldn't be shoot under exposure. Take a look at this picture. It's from the Coda Double X brochure. It shows what Double X should be look like before color grading. Look like a RAW file or log color mode on digital camera, right? Yes, Double X, this classic black white negative is designed for Pro. 
if you want your pictures shoot on double X look like this, or you want a classic grayscale like that famous movie Schindler's List, you should shoot box ISO 250 and develop it with D96 developer. I started to shooting double X in 10 years ago because that famous movie Schindler's List. The movie was filmed on Double X and uh, developed with D96 by Deluxe Company. I really wanted to get that look, so I bought someone DIY Mix D96 powder developer. It's pretty cheaper, just uh, about two US dollars for one liter. D96 actually very close to D76. It is derived from D76. Little bit low contrast compared to the neutral D76. It is the specified developer for classic black and white motion picture stocks. I was fascinated with that kind of shiny gray and the smooth transition on images developed by D96. I just said I was using some of the DIY mixed chemicals, just cost two dollars for one liter. But if you mixed from constituent chemicals by yourself, well the D96 is the cheapest one compared to other similar developers D76 and D23. For one liter D96 working solution needs chemicals less than others. This is the cost calculated using chemicals sold in Japanese market, just cost $1.50 for one liter developer. If they are replaced with chemicals made in China, the cost may down to half dollar for one liter. Very good business, right? With lowest contrast in these three developers is D23. I was made a video how to mix your own D23. Uh, you can check this video. Most of roles I shoot in Israel developed in HC110 developer using OnePlus 31 Delusion B. But two rows of them I was used Rodino OnePlus 50 dilution. I don't like that. Maybe OnePlus 50 dilution is too high, maybe OnePlus 25 just right, I don't know. Anyway, HC110 bring good contrast and makes the bright part shiny, but Rodino does not. Images looks too soft. I believe Rodino is not suitable for double X. And also I am not recommend using Rodino to develop ISO 400 or more higher speed films. That's meaningless. You will get very grainy images. That's not good. But Rodino is very good for ISO 100 films. I will show you later. I have used HC110 OnePlus 31 Dilution B and OnePlus 63 Dilution H for a long time because HC 110 is a concentrated liquid developer. Very, very easy for using. You can mix it for different dilution. And also it can be stored for a long time without a change or anything. It's my favorite developer, but the comps is just a little bit grainy.
Usually, I don't like using a fine grain developer to develop a high speed film that's meaningless. Since Double X is a middle granularity film, so I usually not using a fine grain developer to do it. But after I had used Ufo DDX developer, I was surprised. <laughs> EO for DDX is an excellent developer with very different beautiful tones. I quite like it, except DDX let you double X look like an UFO's image, though not a codex, right? Double X is the best film for pushing due to it's much better for highlight and shadow, so it's very good for shooting in low light. I usually shoot it at ISO 1600 or 3200 and develop it with HC 110 dilution B. This is the pushing development data. I just said raw dino not good for double X or for any high speed film, but for ISO 100 film, raw dino is pretty good. It can bring you very rich the middle tone and it's beautiful. In few years ago, I always said to my friend that uh, Formapan 100 like a Samicron 35mm A element lens and the Rodino developer is the golden combination. Okay, that's all. Uh, I hope you can enjoy it. And if you have any question, you can leave the message below. Thanks for watching. See you.